Hey there, I'm Hannah Cruz at the Church Musicians Assistant. Welcome back to this tutorial series on creating a virtual choir for free on your Windows computer. We're about to get into the video editing portion of this project. And before we get started, you should know that I'm not an expert in this, but I have found a way to do it for free and pretty simply on a Windows computer. And that's what I wanna share with you. Now, if you're looking to do a lot of fancy visuals on your video, you probably should look elsewhere for advice because this tutorial is all about doing it quickly and simply and keeping the look of it really simple. So if that's what you want, then keep watching. For this project, we're going to use a free video editor called VSDC. I've tried a number of different free editors uh, that you can use on Windows and this one has worked the best for my purposes. So um, this is what we're going to use and if you want more features available to you in VSDC, you can go ahead and get the paid version, but we're just going to use the free version. So make sure to download that first and then open it up and it's going to bring you to this screen, just exit out of that. Now we want to import content so that we can get started with our project. Click import content and then go to the file where you're keeping the, um, the video files. You're going to open one of them. Give your overall title or project a title. So we'll name this TCMA uh, Virtual Choir Project. Okay, so now you have Bob in here and it's named it Layer 1. If you want to, you could uh, click that little arrow, go to Rename layer and then give it the correct title. Alright, now we want to add the rest of our videos. So click add object video or the quick key for that would be shift V and we're going to um, we're, we're going to add each video individually. Then the screen comes up before, uh, before the video gets added to your project. So you want to add the video from the scene beginning, not from your cursor position because that will add it to this other layer that you just imported. You want a new layer. So from scene begin and then add new layer. There we go. And then again, you could rename that with the correct labeling if you want to. I'm going to keep going and I am going to add the rest of our videos. Okay, now I've added all of the videos needed for this project. You'll notice that you can only see one of the videos at a time in your editor, and that's because it's uh, all of them are layered on top of each other right now. So just click on it and you'll see the dotted line appear. Then grab one corner and boom, you'll start to see that the other videos are visible. And then just make those smaller until um, until you can see all of them. There should be nine in total. The automatic background is black and that's that's fine for me. So now uh, we need to fix the orientation of these videos. As you can see they came in upside down for whatever reason. So I'll uh, press control on my keypad and then select all of them. 
Then you go up here and click the rotate 90 degrees button twice. Okay, they are all oriented correctly now. You can start working on getting the videos in the proper places on your screen now if you like. Uh, let's go ahead and work on making this look a little bit better. So first of all, decide how you want your videos arranged. Since I've got nine videos, it's going to work out pretty well to have them all the same size and to arrange them in a grid of three by three. <clears throat> if you had if you had ten videos, you know you could do five on top, five on bottom, or uh, three and then four and then three. Just the, arrange them however you think is aesthetically pleasing. I want my accompaniment part to go in the middle so that all the singers are look like they're singing around the accompanist. So click on the accompaniment track and find that. It highlights it for you. I want to put that one in the middle. So I'll move these around. Okay. Now, unfortunately, getting all of the videos to be the same size is just a tedious process of trial and error. Um, there, there may be a feature on VSDC that allows you to select all and make the same size. I haven't had any luck um, getting that to work on the free version at least. So, um, so as long as you're willing to spend a little extra time, you can fiddle with it until you get them all the same size. Let's do that together. I'm going to use my best visual judgment and guess that this size is going to work pretty well. We'll be able to fit everybody on the screen um, if everyone is about this size. So let's try to match. And it doesn't have to be perfect right now. So what I like to do is to get one row looking as perfect as I can. Then I'm going to try to match the row on the opposite side with this row and make that look as similar as possible. At this point, it might help if you use the grid tool. So you can show the grid and then um, select all, uh, hit control A to select all and then click snap to grid. That way, when you move these, it will snap onto those dotted lines. Sometimes the grid feature is actually annoying because it wants to snap into a place that doesn't line up perfectly with another video. So, you can always unsnap and you'll have a little more freedom. Now that's looking pretty good to me. We could mess with this a little bit more, but for now I'm thinking it looks pretty well balanced and we're going to move on to aligning aligning the videos with each other. Okay, so first let's edit each video individually. There's always going to be some dead space at the beginning and end. 
So we need to get rid of that. Starting with the accompaniment track. We just want to listen to the accompaniment track, not all the videos together. So go over here and unselect the videos you do not want to hear by making that eyeball symbol go away. All right, so that's the beginning. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. And cut it about there. So that we have some space before I start, but not all of the noise and stuff. So um, where this cursor is, that's where I wanna cut it. Select that track, make sure it is selected. Then go up here to the scissors, click the arrow and click trim start that's going to trim the start tri trim all of that away to where your cursor was and then we can move the whole track back to the beginning let's make sure we like that great that's just enough space now do the same thing with the end, find where it stops and then trim the end where you want it. Okay, so about right there. We'll click the, the scissors again and trim end. Perfect. Now go ahead and do that with the rest of your tracks. Remember to mute the other tracks and um, click the eyeball symbol so that you can hear the new track. Once you've trimmed the beginning, don't forget to trim the end. You might need to zoom back out. Then trim the end. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trim all of the tracks and um, we'll skip past that to the next step. Hey there, so I hope you have been enjoying this tutorial so far. Um, stay tuned for the next segment where we finish up the video editing process. And please do us a big favor and subscribe to our channel. That helps us get our videos out to more people. And when you click the, um, the bell symbol, you will always be notified by YouTube when we release new videos. So that's good for you because it keeps you up to date on our content. I appreciate your support and hope to see you in the next segment of this tutorial series. Until then, have a great day. Bye.